Hello. Welcome back to Taz Wales 12. You're on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wales 12. And I am the host who is Tara Wells. Today's video is going to be a Andover charity shop and car boots. There's a few things from different places. Kind of mix match them together because otherwise you would just have a little haul, which we don't want, but we've got enough for a good enough haul, if that makes sense. But before I get into them items and explain more about the where I got them from, I just want to go through the nitty gritty stuff, which is if you like the video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. So it tells me what you want to see, tells me what you like. Other people see it, other people like it and the video go around. So give it a massive thumbs up. Also, please come and subscribe to Tazwells 12. You just hit the subscribe button and you are then joined into the YouTube journey and the love family. So you can press the or click bell notification button and that will tell you when I've uploaded a new video. Click down below the share button. You can share it with your friends and family. They might be interested in this video or something they're kind of looking at. So a charity shop or a car boot sale might be what they need to go for or go to. And also you can comment down below on anything you would like to suggest ideas anything at all whatever you you're fancying i will 100 percent comment back to you and like your comment every single time this video is not sponsored by any of the brands that i do or may do mention in this video this is just a car boot sale charity shop video that my money goes to charity or my money goes to the people that are selling it and it's just what i fancied a second hand sort of haul no sponsored at all check out my other two accounts on social media or instagram so you have taswas 12 and taswas 12 home check like follow comment whatever you like to do please that'd be great now we will get into the andover charity shop and car boot sale haul firstly i am going to show you the items that i got from the charity shop i literally got on the same charity shop there is a few in our local town. There's a probably about, I think there's about four or five of them. There was six. I noticed one had gone the other day. I don't know why. Some of them are open at certain times, so I can't go to all of them. But if I get a day where I can do that, I try and will film it for you, like, because it's hard. But I don't do that. I need to do that because I've tried to said that I need to do it on Shoot Ash, I need to do it on Andover One, I need to do it on the charity shop. So I will try my best to do that because I keep forgetting or I get a little bit shy or yeah. But I will will try and do that, at least some clippage. So first one I saw that is so good that I love finding is always a book which is from Shilo Flanagan. If you've been here, like on this channel and my charity shop and my car boot sale hauls, you will know I love Sheila O'Flanagan books. And you're probably thinking, why do I not buy them first hand? Well, the first one I got was literally when I worked in Woolworths. I got, there was some little bits of paper that you got and it basically said, if you hand this in, you get a Sheila O'Flanagan book. So I did that. So you could cut it out of a magazine or something and then you give it to Woolworths at the time and then they scan it and you get a free book and they were Sheila Flanagan ones and it was it called Isabel's Wedding. I've had it Young's. I've never found a second copy of it. I really do because mine is tatty but that is the first book and I love it. I've read it. It helped me through some like really hard times that I had and literally I love the stories in it and it's quite they're quite not like common stories but they kind of give you that little sense of like a bit of human in them it's all the shilo flanagan one and it's called connections so this is a sun sea and sparkling storytelling welcome to paradise into the caribbean results the white sands with sparkling turquoise sea laps against the glittering shore lush green palms sway gently in the breeze and everyone has a story to tell and there's, I think there's like mini stories within this one. Join these and many other holiday makers for a journey of intrigue and romance as intertwining tales unfold 
from beach to bedroom to bar. Together they create a delightful collection of stories and ideal escapes to pure paradise. So I think these are more ones. So they're basically all these people and they've all got different scenarios and maybe they all come together as one. Really love these books. I've got loads. I've literally wrote a list down in my phone. So when I do go to a charity shop or a car boot sale, I know like which ones I've got and which ones I haven't. I have seen a, a couple of repeats. I seem to be lucky at the moment, but I've got to write the last few that I got down. I've got a couple more that I've done in some other hauls. Um, so I need to update that list before I go to any more because there could be another charity shop or boot sale that I find these. I find every like one book every so often. I'm not the massive fan of reading. So you're probably thinking, why do I buy books? Well, the, this author is literally the basically the only sort of author. I've got another one. I've got a couple of other like sort of help therapy books or like quotes or I've got another author I've got downstairs that I'm going to try and read. But I like taking these on holiday. They're really good like when you get that five minutes, you're laying in the sun, having a little read or you want to be under that shade or you've got five minutes of the evening it's just nice to read it so that's why i kind of get them and i do want to try and read in the evening but unfortunately sometimes i just get busy or on my phone which is really bad but i just have them because i know that i will take one of these on holiday this was only a pound which is like literally nothing and the book was originally uk price 6.99 there so just to steal with my you also probably know about me is i am a sucker for cups mugs really nice ones and when i went in a charity shop and saw it was just straight right up to my street in this house we've had it we've added a lot of black in it like we haven't painted any of the walls so all the walls are pretty much white there is bits that we do need to like maybe go round and update and like where there's little scuffs and that pretty much we have got the color theme of we have got some wood in the hair it's either like a pale gray a dark gray a green a black sometimes a cream and it's not like any green it's like a forest green if that makes sense and sometimes I've got B theme in here, but literally they are the colours. So when I saw this mug, which was a pretty decent big mug, I, I couldn't help with it. And it has my initial on it and it has it on both sides, which is really nice. And it's like kind of, there's a texture to it, the, the glaze, if that makes sense. Really love this and it's got like a brown line there. Love this. So I don't know where it's from, um, it's got black and white on the bottom, um, but when I saw it had my initial on it, it's just a sucker for anything with initial on it, or, and you don't normally see stuff with like your initial on it, that's nice, saw this and it was only a pound, I was had to go for this, and I have suckily already used this, because I love this cup, it's such a nice size, so perfect for a pound. I'll go on to the car boot sale stuff, which I literally spent the massive amount of a pound on two items. Literally, not, I wouldn't say it was the best of days because we were actually doing a car boot sale. We were actually selling, so this was actually time. There was three of us and we took two cars, so we were actually selling ourselves. I was going to film the whole process, but it was very, very stressful. I, I, If you get anxiety, oh my God, you get very stressful. Anyway, we got past it. I'll just give you like a little overview of it. But we literally sorted most of the stuff out. Probably last year we were going to do one in 2022. So most of the stuff was like sorted out in boxes. And then we came to the Saturday before the Sunday we we're going to do it. So we were literally doing it for ages on that. So most of it was sorted out, but then we had to sort some other bits because we were just like, we just want to get rid of it. So let's just shove it in a pound box, two pound box, 50p, 20p, literally 
and then we priced some item up and literally done that we had a rail we had a table we had boxes we had a mat like it was crazy right we had the whole lot right there was flux of where it was a little bit quiet so i just said i'll go around and have a look we did make 120 but you do have to take 14 pound off of that for the two cars we just couldn't fit it in and you're thinking why didn't you do it two separate times well we could have probably did that but we just wanted to get it going we just wanted to get it out the way if that makes sense we did that and when there was flux of periods where like it was busy or it was quiet where it was quiet i went off and my mum and her partner just sat there they didn't want to go around so i just had a quick look but it is super super stressful actually we were going to the clappers we finished at like nine o'clock that night i know we we probably didn't start early early on saturday when we were sorting the stuff out but to nine o'clock i was shattered basically we had done it all we got filled the car the car was done and then i literally had to get up at like 10 past six the next day in the morning to get to my mum's which is not very far away said that people could go in start going in at about quarter past seven but definitely people were there for before so we'll definitely take that in mind if we ever do one again you've got to have a float you've got to have change i was panicking that we weren't going to get in and early enough because this is a car boot so we go to and we normally get that quarter two ten two so we were getting to about this time it was getting about half past seven when we were getting in we got in we literally like the clappers we literally had to get everything set out thing people were asking you questions then there was loads of people so if you get anxiety definitely take someone with you to do it because it's not the easiest thing you've got to watch people you've got to do change you've got to do bargaining with people you've literally got to do like bills you've literally got to do the best and and you've got to make money out of it and people have got to realize that and it's not the easiest you've got to at least make seven pound back so you've got to take enough stuff to make it but then you've got to think i took loads of clothes they did not sell which is absolutely crazy i was literally put at like selling dresses for like a pound i was selling like other things just anything for, for a pound i was selling like really decent dresses for like two pounds we had a rail i think the most on there was like four pound like honestly but some of it weren't budging but it depends what people want to find that day but i was going to film it all and then i totally forgot but if we ever do do another one i will try and give you as many hints and tips i did give you quite a few there but i will try and show you the whole process but it is is a lot a lot very much a lot so i had the flux little periods within that car boot cell that i rambled on about first item i found was this plant pot and i wasn't sure it was on the mat and i wasn't sure if it was plastic or it was ceramic so i picked it up or had a look at it and then it had like holes in it and then i could see it was plastic and i thought it is really good because from afar that looks like it's like ceramic concrete stone do you see what i mean it's very very clever so it's basically just a pl plastic pl black plant pot a tuscany roman 25 cm ebony gray i don't know where they got it for but it looks like they haven't even used it because the label's on it. it just looks like it's literally like things so i don't like plastic ones normally but i've got a few plants out there at the moment that need to go in a bigger pot it was like i need to like get something so i have been looking at a couple at the car boot sale but there was another one i did see actually square one and it's like glazed and everything and i thought if that's put on there the next time i'll get it but it, it clearly had gone i could have picked it up and got it if i really really wanted it but some people do want plant pots for a lot of money because they are a lot of money in the shop but i will look out for some more because they are really super handy i've only got really small ones thought that'd be great to just put that other plant in it with some like more 
multi-purpose soil and then they hopefully it'll grow a little bit more better and some flowers not been able to do it since because it has been raining a little bit but that was literally i wish i had two because it would have been even better but that was literally 50p so i i was having that for 50p and then funny enough i then there was like a quiet period again i went round again i thought you know what i'm definitely definitely go around did see a new look jumpsuit that someone had and it literally was like black with tropical print on um i saw that the first time i went around with like the pot and stuff and i thought do i like it you sometimes you do have to think like am i gonna wear it is it gonna be big enough like i've done the mistake where i've bought things and it hasn't been big enough so i do try and stretch it or try and think oh will it fit me Left that and i thought if it's there the second time i go around i'll i'll get it and it wasn't it was gone that was just fate if that makes sense that's how i kind of see things well anyway i thought i'd cut through some car boot cells because sometimes you can do that instead of going at the end and as i went past i then saw this obviously not with the toothbrushes in it I've been looking for one like this, not exactly like this. I've got another one in the main bathroom that's square that I got from Shoot Ash Car Boot Sale. And it's more of a natural stone. I was looking for another one like that really. I've seen other ones like really big, too big if that makes sense. And I've got that one for myself and I wanted one another one for Neil because all he had was like two little glass beakers ribbed ones that i got from poundland and i've not really liked them they're just clear glass and i've just i've literally just chucked them because they're not very nice i probably could have got cleaned them up and then took them to the car boot sale but it was the same day so i couldn't really so anyway i was just going cut through and then on the map this was just led on its side so i picked it up and i was looking at it and it, i thought oh it's a gray stone one it's pretty nice it's not too big i think it would be okay and we kind of have gray theme in here and natural stone i wanted to keep it all natural stone in there but this will be fine for now so i was looking at it and the guy was like oh it's just 50p i was like okay i'll take it for 50p because it was bugging me the two glass beakers then this will for this i could have this for another year until i find like a natural stone one and you know what i had a look in b m and this is no diss to b m this is no disrespectful to them i love b m but and it's probably like any of the same like home bargains or anywhere else and the natural stone ones square ones like i've got for five pound and i paid one pound one pound alone for that one at shoot ash so five pound is crazy so i literally spent 50p on this so i had a saving of four pound fifty that is nuts i think that's just to put your toothbrushes in this will absolutely do it's like a natural gray stone this is perfect unfortunately we have come to the end of the andover and charity shop and car boot sale haul I hope you like the items. There was literally just four in total there, but I did give you like a little bit of an update of the car boots that we did. Like I did say, I am absolutely so sorry that I did not film it. I just didn't have time. I just, it was too manic. So if I do another one, I will try and do that. I'm so bad at things like that because I say I'm going to do these things and then I never do it for you. But I am gonna try like i did get a bit demotivated at one point of filming and yeah there's a lot going on but i will get back into it and with my uploads and try the best i can hope you enjoyed it there i've always said at the end of the, these videos definitely check your charity shops out your car boot sales if you want things cheap go to the car boot sale the car boot sale they are 10 times cheaper than the charity shop but the charity shop you can find some like nickety bits that you could absolutely love go there if not then you could go to jumble sales if they have them in your area i know a lot of people have like really big charity shops or they have sales on and bits like that it depends where you are but go go to your nearest car boot sale and your charity shops and go and have a good rummage go and have a good look i've found i've brought fantastic clothes i've brought home stuff i've bought absolutely loads of stuff so go and have a good good look 
Uh, if you like the video, please do not forget to give it a massive thumbs up because it tells me what you want to see, tells me what you like. Other people see it, other people like it, so the video will go round. Please come and subscribe by clicking the, clicking the subscribe button on my main page and the bell notification too to be notified when I've uploaded a new video. Click the share button down below to share with your friends and family. Comment down on the video whatever you would like to do or say. I will 100% comment back to you and like your comment every single time. The video was not sponsored by any of the charity shops, any of the brands I mentioned, anything at all. It's just what I found. I've given my money to charity or the people that were selling it at a car boot sale. It is not sponsored in any way and just bought out my own money. Check my two accounts on social media of Instagram, Tazfoss12, Tazfoss12 Home. Please check, like, follow, comment, whatever you like to do, please. That'd be great. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a lovely day or evening and I'll see you soon guys.